knock. Can I come in? <sighs> hey, sweetie. Is everything okay? I'm just concerned. You didn't say much this morning, beside one word answers. And after lunch, you went straight to our room and never come out. That's not like you. I know what you act like when you're tired, and this isn't it. There has to be something on your mind. Is it about me? That I do something wrong? Then what is it? Look, I can get you some time alone if you need it, but please just tell me. It would save me a lot of worry. So you don't want to be alone? Then what's bothering you? Please, tell me, honey. I want to help. It's not stupid. I can promise you that. Just take deep breaths and relax. You're in a safe place here. Nothing you say will leave these walls. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, so this thought it keeps popping up. For how long has that been going on for? That still won't go away. <sighs> it sounds to me like you have a bad case of intrusive thoughts. <laughs> yeah, there's a term for it. Thoughts that disturb you, but just won't stop showing up at the worst possible times. Almost like your brain is playing it on repeat, no matter how much you hate it. Of course it's not stupid. This is something that just happens, unfortunately. Our brains have very vivid imaginations. We can craft disturbing scenarios without us even wanting to. I'm sorry, sweetie. This isn't fair to you. Come here. Give me a kiss. I'm here for you, honey. I always will be. As a matter of fact, I do know how to make it better. Come sit on my lap. No, face away from me. There you go. Do you want a blanket? There you are. Now, I'm just going to work my magic. Close your eyes and breathe. That's right. I'm going to massage those intrusive thoughts right out of your brain. It's simple, really. Some head pads here, a few light scratches there, some scalp rubs to top it off. That should help you forget all about it. You know, I used to struggle with intrusive thoughts all the time. Yeah. Remember when I told you about the OCD I had when I was younger? <laughs> no, OCD isn't just about washing your hands. It means that you constantly get intrusive thoughts telling you to go do something or else. That something could be washing your hands, but it could also manifest in other ways. Things like counting your steps, Obsessively flipping switches on and off, blinking over and over again. Anyway, when I was a kid, I used to wash my hands until they were raw. Not because I wanted to, but my intrusive thoughts kept telling me if I didn't, everyone around me would get cancer. That's just ridiculous. Cancer doesn't spread like that, and I knew it at the time. I was just too afraid to do anything different. <laughs> this isn't me trying to scare you. OCD intrusive thoughts, and more so compulsions. Whereas most intrusive thoughts are just images or scenarios you hate thinking about. There are big differences, but I'm telling you this because I had to learn ways to deal with the intrusive thoughts that might help you as well. 
even if they are different. For starters, it's next to impossible to flout stop intrusive thoughts. That's why they're intrusive. You didn't want them to happen in the first place. It's a really sad oxymoron. You actively try to stop thinking about them, so they happen more often. Honey, don't think about apples. <laughs> now, what's the first thing you thought of when I said that? Exactly. You imagined a tasty red fruit in that noggin of yours. So, no matter how hard you want to, trying to force out intrusive thoughts only make them come back more often. That's why you got to outsmart them, not use brute force. <sighs> Think of your intrusive thoughts like a pop-up ad. They show up out of nowhere and try and grab your attention. And, like a pop-up ad, you need to ignore them. Because if you click on that ad, then the algorithm is just going to show you more ads in the future. So don't even entertain those thoughts. Don't give them the time of day, because your brain's algorithm will start to think it's important. I know it's hard to ignore them. That's why I've practiced a little trick. Whenever an intrusive thought shows up, I simply say no, and continue what I'm doing. No, I know that's too easy to be true. It's not going to work on the first try. There's a bit of fake it till you make it mentality that goes into the tactic. But it does help the more you practice. <laughs> you don't just have to say no. You could say nope or no. Nah, or even you darn thoughts get off my lawn. <laughs> In all those instances, you're clicking the X button on that ad. You're closing it so you don't have to look at it anymore. So, if at any point during these massages, an intrusive thought pops up, simply click the little X button and try to focus on me. On my voice, on the feeling of my fingers on your scalp, on the warmth of my body against your back. I know it's difficult, but as I said, fake it till you make it. And it'll get easier over time, I promise. Now just sit back, keep breathing, and let yourself relax. You've more than earned it, sweetie. Shh. No. No more protests. You can do this, I know you can. And if you ever need help, or a distraction, you can always talk to me. It doesn't even have to be about anything. Just bring up something random. Or simply ask me to ramble. I'm sure there's stuff I could talk your ear off about. Like... Reading. I've started a really interesting book recently. It's about a man who found he was switched at birth. I was on a quest to find his birth parents, who didn't even know he was switched. Well, that's a long story. It started when he had to do an ancestry project for his college class.